Hello guys, welcome to my review of the Lip Sync Expert is all you need for speech to lip generation in the wild, which is a very long title to say that basically we are talking about a model that can allow you to generate lip synced videos using arbitrary videos and arbitrary audios. Let's see an example directly from the official website of the paper. Here in the example 3 proposed, we can see that there is a video without any audio and the person here is not talking. Then we have an audio of 3 seconds. Let's listen to it. I'll go around. Wait for my call. Then we press this button, Sync Despair, and the output video, which is here, I already generated it before. We can play it. I'll go around. Wait for my call. As you can see, the results are remarkable. We can see that the person before was not uh, not talking at all and now actually the, his lip has been uh, automatically generated and the, what, uh, the movement of his lip actually match what he's saying um, I don't see any big difference actually from what I would expect from any other person let's go into the details of how this all works so <clears throat> Uh, the, the, the system can be used for many applications, for example, for dubbing videos in multiple languages, educational videos, or any other thing that you like. And uh, let's go to the architecture of the video, of the model. We can see that we have two streams. One is an audio stream and one, we, uh, one is a video stream. They are both downsampled using uh, a convolutional net neural networks. Uh, combined together and then upsampled again with skip connections from the uh, video stream and this is the generator so we are talking about a GAN network actually more or less a GAN we will see why it's different and uh, then the generator uh, frame so we have a sequence of frames uh, are um, compared with what is the ground truth and this is the reconstruction loss of the image Actually, the, the authors claim that this, uh, the reconstruction loss is not enough to generate a good uh, image uh, and which is basically also the technique used by previous models so before the lip to WAV was, um, WAV to lip was, gen uh, was introduced because uh, as the author claims uh, in the um, previous uh, here in 3.1 we can see that the pixel level reconstruction loss is a weak judge of lip sync why because the the system tries to the model tries to generate the image and try to make it look like the original however the model doesn't concentrate on the lip area only which is what is what we want is one of the most important thing that we want to judge in this model, right? But they say that the lip area actually correspond to less than four percent of the total reconstruction loss. So it is um, we can we should find a way to concentrate on that uh, to generate a better lip area, of course, while preserving the original image. So we don't want the background to change, we don't want the pose of the person to change, etc. So what the authors do, they introduce a sync net. SyncNet is a model um, that allows uh, was introduced previously, allows to check how much a video and audio are synced together, and if they are not synced, by how much they are out of sync. The authors they call it a lip sync expert. They retrain the SyncNet uh, from the ground using uh, little variations. For example, in the original SyncNet was trained using uh, uh, black and white images. Now they use it color images. And secondly, they change the loss function to uh, cosine similarity. So the generator, actually, the loss function of the generator uh, is a combination of the L1 construction loss, the gun loss, and the uh, sync loss. Uh, we can find it here in the equation number 6. So actually the uh, L total is the total loss of the generator, which is a combination of this loss, of this loss, and this loss. And uh, there are some weights to choose how much emphasis to give to each loss. Uh, the, the system has been trained using uh, an adapt optimizer. These are the parameters. But let's go to check the results. Now, the authors compare the current model with the previous models and uh, using three different data sets. The first one is dubbed, so we have a video and the audio that is dubbed, taken from the internet, I guess, and um, where the audio and the video are not in sync. And they try to sync it using WAV2Lip and also the two baseline models, speech 2 with and LipGAN. 
uh, we can see that according to human evaluators, so these are all uh, evaluations made by humans, the wav to lip actually is preferred. The method of evaluation is uh, written here in 4.4.2. And uh, secondly, we have a random uh, data set. That's uh, a data set of uh, random videos with random audios, and the wav to lip is uh, trained to uh, sync them. And finally, we have TTS, in which the audio is generated from a TTS system. As we can see, overall, the wav to lip is performing much better. We will see some examples later, and uh, according to human evaluators. And um, <clears throat> we see that here in the author's rare right, finally, it is worth noting that our lip sync videos are preferred over existing methods, uh, or even the actual unsynced videos over 90% of the time. So it means that also the visual quality is not bad. Here are some examples. For example, we can see the red uh, frames are from the previous models, and uh, we can see the quality of the face here of uh, the German Chancellor uh, is uh, not so good, but here with the sync net, uh, with the uh, and, uh, lip to wav to lip, the, the reconstruction image is quite good. Uh, the authors actually train two models, one with uh, the GAN and one without the GAN loss. And uh, we can see that uh, uh, without the GAN is performing uh, better on some metrics and a little worse on some other metrics. And uh, so actually I think this model have a lot of potential for generating talking avatars or for dubbing videos, generating educational videos. Uh, maybe in the future we don't need to record the three times the same video in multiple language. We can just generate it once and let the AI do the rest. Thank you for listening.